Let me explain something. Man value increase with time. Woman value decrease. Most of these women over 25 don't look good. Okay? And let me explain something. A man could get married, have a family, do anything at any age. He could get married at 60. A man hold the keys to the ring. A man could do anything he wants. Okay? Y'all lady could just be upset of what I'm saying. And what's that if he's a rich man? He could buy and sell any woman he want. Ladies decrease, man value go up. Get mad all you want. My brethren, now let's see you have now worked yourself up to be the man that this woman is speaking on in the clip. What you need to understand is that your dynamics with a woman from the jump needs to change to match that. And nowhere in any time in life can this be more exhibited than if that woman were to catch you with another woman. I mean, in the act, sexually. And I'm going to tell you men, from my own experiences, what worked and what didn't. And how you shall proceed as king if a woman, your woman, any woman, catches you being sexually active with another woman. But first, let's roll it intro. What this dick, yeah. She says she wanna be up on my team, but she can't love me, yeah. Really, she don't wanna man, she wanna gummy me back. Now, first thing that we need to do, man, is clean up speech. For the sake of time, I use the phrases like catch. But truly, as king, no woman can catch you doing anything. She witnessed it. But when you use the phrase catch, you understand that in this country with the dynamics of man and woman, it implies that this woman had some type of authority over you and that you were moving outside of the authority and that she caught you like your mama would catch you getting the cookie out the cookie jars of the bar. But we're not the bars. So a woman can't catch you doing nothing. She can become witness to that. So you may need to understand that the rules of engagement are predicated by the man now when it comes to the law of attraction the female is going to give the attraction confirmation see now here's where we being men in truth kind of <laughs> have a little issues right because a woman will give the confirmation attraction no matter how big or loud that confirmation may be she will do it no woman's ever been pursued who didn't really want to be pursued you got a couple but typically that woman is going to drop some pheromones a handkerchief one too many likes on your page or whatever you know she's gonna put herself on your radar and this is what i'm telling you man if you ain't at this point been able to tell how she's into you then i, I don't know what to tell you bro you know this is this is very elementary this part but once you got the uh confirmation of attraction then however you choose to proceed is how you choose to proceed understand however if in the event this does not become fruitful if in the event this does not flesh out to be something more than just that everything is going to be put on you anyway if it ever comes out the woman will absorb herself of all accountability and responsibility and say it was all him i've had this done several times fellas i mean several i have women here already when a woman comes around whether it is on social media whether it's in life or both She's going to do something to give me the attraction confirmation. And me being me, me being a man, alpha, you being you, you pick up on it and you either see what it's about or leave it in doubt. But if in the event that it does not flesh out, she's going to throw you under the bus. Now for us, there is no bus. We are the bus. But in the mind of a woman, she thinks that because she has come from a place in the dynamics in this country where, again, it's normal to say things like I caught my man or don't let me catch him with that or with her. But again, you have to reset her brain. And this brings us back to the topic at hand. What do you do if and when your woman or any woman sees you being sexually active with another? Let me take you brothers back to 2009. I was maybe 18. It's for like 18, I think. And I had me a main piece. This is a 46-year-old at the time. She well off. You know, I told you back then, older women were my team. The reason being is because they 
meant something when you got them. I am older now, and older women don't mean what they used to mean to me. I'll be honest with you, unless they got spiritual fruits. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a different topic for a different day. But anyhow, back then that meant something to me, and it meant something to my peers. So then it elevated me in the eyes of my peers because I'm doing something that they couldn't. One of my best friends, his baby mama was the mama of the woman I was with. So he hitting the daughter, I'm hitting the mama. And that's how it is. What she had was now mine. It was all acquiesced to me. And I'm I'm 17, I'm 18, I'm doing what I want to do. But at that age though, you know, I got rotational chicks that were in rotational. You know, you you got rotational chicks, you had situational chicks, you know. Not saying this right, but fellas, you know how it is at that time when y'all there like that. So I had a young little tenderoni and you know, on the weekends I I'd come down and we get up and do our thug desert, you know. And there was like this unwritten rule that my 46 year old understood, like, hey, when I'm away, I'm away. She knew. Women don't listen to anybody, brothers. They don't even listen to themselves. That woman knew. All the telltale signs were there. The 46-year-old woman knew. But this this weekend in particular, I guess she just had time or maybe she just couldn't stand the fact that she didn't have the confirmation. Plus, she was blowing my phone up. I was busy blowing up. I'm back out. And yeah, you know, if I were to stop in mid-stride, answer the phone, just to find out you don't want anything. She said, why you out of breath? And why I don't got time for all that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to catch that. And then I'm going to pick the phone up whenever I get to it. Anyhow, the woman comes down. You know, she knew she knew some of the places that I would frequent. She comes down with the daughter I told you about that my, my best friend uh, was smashing at the time. And I'm in a bed with the mama, my little Neroni at the time, you know. So I hear people outside the window talking like i think that's him i think that's him <laughs> and so i realized that it's the 46 year old and her daughter out there trying to peer through the blinds to see if that's me in the bed now see fellas i had told myself well even if she has the way i know she's not coming in this house you know um the house was a hostile environment for her because there was people in the house who didn't really like her and i'm like she's not gonna chance coming in here so i goes back to sleep with little mama, we both butt naked. Man, do you know? I hear the woman voice. So this is what you down here doing? <laughs> he, he fellas, for like a brief moment in history, my soul leaves my body. <laughs> because I'm like, I know she not in here. And she was. And I didn't know how to deal. I was angry. So... That's the only thing I knew. I'm angry. I'm shocked too. And I'm a little terrified. But I know I'm angry. And all of the emotions, I'm like, you know what? I probably should operate in the angry emotion. I've been in fights. When you fight somebody and, you know, you're a little frightful sometimes, you may not hit them as hard as you like to. Uh, when you're angry, not saying that it's the best emotion to fight in. It really is not. But I would take that out. And so I got angry. And because I got angry, I seen her trying to see if she was in the wrong because hey this guy seems angrier than me and i need you men to pay attention to what i'm going to tell you had i dominated that situation it would have played out differently the 46 year old says uh well are you going to introduce me this is the first time she's meeting in person my young tenderoni who she knew that i was dealing with but yeah, it is it's in the fish now i'm butterball naked the young tenderoni in the bed she naked she in there trying to cover up her breasts you know so I say, A, this is B, B, this is A. And it was like a little awkward silence or whatever for a cool minute. The 46 year old says, well, are you coming? And you know what I did? I got my clothes. I told the mama in the back, I said, hey, look, you can stay here. My people going, you know, look out for you in the morning, get you back to where you need to be. In. And yeah, and um, that's what it was and I ended up leaving. I still kept my little piece around, you know. She knew the deal. She was TTG. See, I did everything right with her. She knew what it was. See, that's the other thing too, man. In that lifestyle, what happens is we don't gear up A or B. We don't set it straight with A or B. And in this situation, I had it straight with B. She knew exactly what it was and what it wasn't. But A, even while knowing, didn't get the confirmation, which can only come from the man. I don't care if she caught you in the act. And we're going to use that phrase again, caught. If the man does not admit she didn't get the confirmation 
and it will always torment her that I caught you. Look at the phone. Just admit it. Something in her will bring her some form of unparalleled peace just by hearing him say, you're right, I did. And then you guys can go from there. But unless the man does that, she didn't have that. So this is the case where I guess the 46 year old wanted that. Now what I did wrong with this situation is that I did not set the rules of engagement from the jump with the 46 year old. Had I done that, she'd have never been down there to begin with, unless I had summoned her. Had I done that, she'd have never felt as emboldened to risk her physical health and her freedom to get the confirmation from me because she would have already had it from the jump. Same way I told you when I got with my wife, the woman I married first, there were no other women around, but I let her know from the jump, I'm not a monogamous man. Never mind the fact that you may have never dealt with the monogamous man. Never mind the fact that most women in this country have never dealt with the monogamous man. Though they may say Polly is not for them, clearly, sweetheart, it is. You just haven't accepted the fact, but whatever. But that's what I didn't do right with this situation. See, what I should have done in that situation, had she showed up, is exhibited all of who I am. I should have got back in bed and started blowing little mama back out. Now here's the thing fellas, here's the thing. Women are crazy, but they should never feel crazier than you. Ever, ever. You ever hear women say, I ain't gonna play with that man. That don't mean she don't play with men. That don't mean that she, she is immune to toying with men. It just means that there's something that took place or didn't take place to let her know she can't try you like that. And this is what the bad boy has that the good guy does not. The good guy on paper may be a better provider. He may have more stability. He may be safer. She may have convinced herself, hey, well, the kids like him. But that bad boy, she know I can't play with that man like that. And something makes her acquiesce to that. This is how you get the better performance out of the woman. Same woman, different results. In that situation, I should have went to blowing my little tenderoni back out. You came all the way down here to see. You snuck in through the back. Let me give you a show. But see what happens? When men get caught, let me use that word again like that, they jump. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, hey, kid, wait, I didn't know you were coming. And you stop doing what you were doing. Keep going, bro. I mean, you, you went through the, the hassle of setting that whole play up. Keep going. See, now, years later, the same thing kind of happened to me. Kind of. With two different women, and I'm married to them both. This time, I covered my bases. Each one knew about each one before they even met them. Off the rip. Each one knew this person had a place, this woman had a place at. Now, let's just use letters for reference. I'm in there with wife, A. And you know, things lead to one thing, and I'm I'm in there doing what I'm doing. Wife E, bow, bow, bow. You know, wife B decides to uh, come back, and some of the other wives had told her, like, well, you know, you probably wanna, you know, fall back or whatever. But what we gonna do? What we gonna do? Again, women know, but women don't listen to themselves. So sometimes, men, it should not be a surprise when you say, well, she don't listen to me. But she don't listen to herself. She don't listen to her peers. She don't listen to her mama, her cousins, and them. She don't listen to nobody. Oh, I can't trust men. No, when she says that, fellas, is that she doesn't trust herself to deal with men. Probably because she don't listen to nothing until it's too late. Now, anyway, she just has to see or whatever she has to do. And she comes in into the uh, area where I'm, I'm getting busy with her mama and opens the door. And here's the importance of you letting both parties know what it is. I didn't stop when she opened the door. But it ain't enough for me not to stop. The woman I'm, I'm, I'm punching it into her, she, she got to know to keep that thing right where it is. Keep your head down. Keep that ruler poked up, you hear me? Don't you move. This my dominion. Because even if I don't move, but the woman I'm, I'm pounding moves and jumps, then the woman coming in has superseded authority in that situation. And you always, men, you always control the narrative. You never let her control nothing. So, little mama, she was TTG, though. She knew. She didn't even so much as bat an eye. And I don't even think she heard the door open in between her moans. So, the woman coming in, my wife, sees me with my other wife, uh, you know, and she's just standing there. Now, she's saying something 
But I'm so far off into what I'm doing, I don't even hear her. And man, I'm going to tell you something too. The women may say that that's a bad habit. I'm going to say, no, no. Stop listening to your women, dog. But what you think about this, babe? What do you think about it, bro? What do you What do you want to do? So I didn't hear nothing she was really saying. I heard mumbles or whatever. But I'm 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 punching I'm punching the mumble from the back. You hear me? Plus it had been a while since I seen it anyway. So we had reunited. You know how that is. <laughs> Everything heightened. In that moment, the woman looking got broken, rebroken. Had to have been. She may have seen something like that similar, and I don't know. I never asked her this. She probably had seen something similar to this. Maybe not exactly this, but maybe she caught her man cheating or whatever. Again, here's that phrase, catch. So in her mind, because she's not a virgin woman, she's likening this situation to something that could be eerily similar in her previous times in life. Though it's not. And this is the issue that we as men will run into when dealing with women who have already been dealt with. You're going to constantly contest with that unless she's had a renewal of mind and spirit and that's what broke up from that point on out it was issues after issues within our union because her placing herself in that environment that situation re-engaged something that had never left to begin with because i've told you men whoever caused that hurt initially with that woman if she's not going back to that source she may not have gotten over that she may have found a way to uh distract herself she may have found something else to do but that didn't go away. If a woman's been rejected in the most critical areas of her life, then she may find herself still wrestling with rejection, even the slightest. Because you told her that she couldn't ride with you to go to the store. Now she's tripping out. Has that woman ever been a any man's first choice? Has that woman in her past ever been any man's first and only choice? Probably not. Even the most unlikely candidates, even the most unlikely undeserving men, Chances are she still was not his first or last. And the women still delusional as ever think that there are a lot of monogamous men out there. They believe that if they just make themselves look like this or if they paint their faces this way or if they hit the gym like this or if they obtain this, then they'll be worthy of the one one woman situation. And I'm trying to explain in the best language I know how. It ain't true, it's us. If Beyonce can get cheated on, if Jay-Z can get caught cheating, if the Dream can get caught cheating on Christina Milian, if Future could get caught with other women outside of Sierra when they were together, these are all what they would consider top tier women. Does the modern day woman then stand a chance? And is it the women or is it just the men? And this is what I need you men to understand is we're talking about the nature of a being here. This nature doesn't make us bad or good. It doesn't make the women good or bad. It just makes them who they are. We're not operating from a place in the space of hate and hurt. As men, we should not be. But understanding the nature will give you the peace that, like the Bible says, surpasses our understanding. Again, this is why I deal with women. And after they drop the attraction confirmation if i was to put them in the hot seat with my wives it was all him oh i didn't know <laughs> come on little baby come on bro <laughs> are we too grown bro <laughs> you know if that woman ever sees you go on to pound town and here's you go on to pound town you go to pound town and you stay there with all authority vested in you from your father if you're gonna go that route some women understood a thing or two like this back in the day. Her nature ain't changed. The only thing that's changed is you, brothers. Back then, they was putting that ism down. Jacob was putting that ism down. Abraham was putting that ism down. Moses was putting that ism down. David was putting that ism down. Solomon, until his later years, was putting that ism down. That's what changed. They knew their place and their role and their position. And that has to start with you men stop pandering to these women as if when you first meet them, they are y'all's gift to you. They could be and they would have been maybe if you'd caught them in the original state that y'all had created her to be in. But if you didn't, then maybe she's a work in progress. I'm not telling you not to deal with her. I'm just saying deal with her as she is, a work in progress. Understanding her nature and all let me come or not come with it. Ain't nothing gonna send your woman like 
her hearing you go to pound town smacking cheeks that ain't hers. It ain't the fact that you smacking cheeks, it's the fact that you ain't smacking hers. Women love for other women to desire their men. It boosts their ego. No woman really wants the easy man. Oh, you got it. Anybody could have had him. He's a regular degular. See, people think that this social ladder ends when a woman gets out of high school. But to me, all women are adolescent in the mind. This social ladder or status boost never really goes away in her life. She wants a man. Like, just back in high school, now she's an adult. She still wants a man that other women could want. She still desires a man that other women would desire. Because when, when she has him... And they don't. It still does something to her. It's a boost. As irritating as it may be when her friends linger around or orbit around or even ask, are there any more like him? What the friend is asking is, politely, can I borrow your man? That's what the, that's what the friend is politely asking the woman. Do you know anybody else like him? She's asking, can she borrow the man? Because no, I don't know anyone else like him. He's one of one. So it is flattering to know for a woman to see and know that other women desire her man, that man rather. So when she hear you hitting, smacking cheeks, she get that. The only thing that rub her the wrong way is that it's not her cheeks. That don't mean you should stop smacking them though. And I'm gonna tell you something too, man. If, if, if you are in a situation to where you are trying to introduce this aspect or trying to get the woman to wrap her head around you spending time, intimate time with a woman that's not her in your home, like I've said before, Ain't no easy way around it. Dive in. If she just happens to come into the room because she left her mask ever, you know, women get women do little things, man, to put themselves in a place to be. Oh, I forgot my keys. Just ignore her and keep smacking them cheeks. Keep on smacking them cheeks. I don't care if she come by and she she at the pillow where y'all at looking for her a silk head covering. You keep smacking them cheeks, bro. And if she there for a show. Give her one. Hit little mama with the doggy in the bed. Get fresh. Poke that leg out. You understand me? Spit in it. Do whatever. Give her a show. You need to dominate that situation. There's no way to dominate her without first dominating the situation. This is the psychology of that, bro. Why do you think the master on the plantation would do what he did with the men there? Yeah, maybe some of them lack that type of homosexual activity, but the master knew that he could not dominate us without first dominating and expressing his domineering personality in the situation. So he had lined the man up and then do the buck breaking act in front of everybody. That's an unholy form because it's an unnatural form. What I'm telling you has the same sentiments, but completely from a different tenement. Sometimes she gotta see, bro. Sometimes she gotta hear. I had one guy tell me that he uh, had uh, done this before after I spoke with him. And um, he was like, his woman started crying after the fact. But I said, well, that was after the fact, so I guess it didn't kill her. He said, no, he said, the weirdest thing happened is she told me that, uh, you know, kind of kind of did something to her. Seeing me like that. I was like, oh, yeah? He was like, yeah, because cause see, when I'm in her, she, she don't really get to see me in her because I'm in her. But she got to see me. And she like, it did something to her. Well, I said, well, there you go, brother. There, there you go. The only reason she's going to react the way she does is because this has happened to her before, bro. And the man did what I'm telling you guys not to. He reacted as if he were being caught. And then it validated everything in her. It gave her dominion over that situation. And then she was the one in charge. Even if they stayed together, then she was the one who can dictate when he can see her. Hey, you better not be talking to her while I'm here. Ain't no way to do. He don't talk to her while he there. Like I did in the first situation. When you coming home? And I went on. Don't be those guys. Dominate that situation freely, openly. Results may vary. But when it comes to you and what you may do, nothing else should be more scary. Love y'all. Say love. What the stick? Yeah. She says she wanna be up on my team, but she can't love me. Yeah. Really, she don't wanna man. She wanna gummy bear.